Here at the Fingerprint Operations Branch, we actually have four super glue chambers we can use when processing evidence. Here's one of them today that we're going to use to demonstrate how to process a plastic cup. So what we would normally do is when we get evidence, we would look and see what type of material it is. Typically, we will super glue fume plastics, metals, uh, glass, semi-porous items, including like magazines or mailing flyers. Um, what I would do is typically open the chamber. We always have a test print to make sure that when we run the whole process that the super glue fumes are actually doing what they need to do. So here's my test print down here and all I do is apply my own print to a semi-glossy paper and hopefully that will show once it's all done that those super glue fumes have deposited onto a surface, meaning it worked. I will also add my evidence in here. We have a water chamber here to add humidity to the chamber, as well as we're going to apply uh, super glue to this aluminum dish and apply that to the chamber as well. Here's the super glue that we use, and typically we will put in approximately a dime to nickel size. Once I have my water, my super glue, my test print, and my evidence in the chamber, I can close the door. And then all I have to do is hit this auto cycle, and it'll actually do everything for me, and I just wait until it's done, which it'll heat the super glue up till it's fuming. This will then polymerize and form, come down on any surface and form a white coating over anywhere that has moisture. Once the super glue chamber is done fuming, I will open the chamber, check the test print to make sure that there is a white layer on the latent prints I had deposited, which there are. I will then remove the evidence, and you can also see that this white layer is on any areas that had moisture on it, including the latent prints that are along the top edge of the cup. And that is how a super glue fuming chamber works.